I'm Tim Jacklin from the Wild Trout Trust and we've been doing some electric fishing on the Eggington Brook today to get an idea of the fish populations that are present uh, and what we're doing uh, is looking at them before the beaver introduction to this site and then we'll have a baseline so that we can see what happens to those fish populations as things develop with the beavers and they change the habitat within the, within the streams. So we've just been using a, a simple backpack uh, electric fishing apparatus today and doing uh, four different sites, two within the section that's going to be enclosed uh, with the beavers and two outside as a control site uh, and doing three runs through with the electric fishing equipment at each site to get a depletion in catch on each run and that, that allows you to make an estimate of the number of fish that are present in that particular part of the river. So on your first run you expect to take quite a few fish and then it gets less and less with each run and then you can work out um, kind of population sizes and, and what kind of fish you, you expect to find throughout all that. So it's normally about a 50 metre stretch. Right, okay. Um, so chances are from there, just probably just to the edge of the trees, um, to the branches there. So I'll do it once, um, we'll have a look and measure the fish, see what there is, and then keep those on, on, on the bank to one side, and then again do another two runs. Right, so you end up with three buckets of... Three buckets of, three, hopefully, a decreasing number of fish. And what sort of sizes would you expect in, in the... In, um, in so this, this, kind of, this kind of habitat's quite good for um, uh, it's nursery habitat, so you're going to get a lot of the younger, smaller fish um, trying to find refuge in, in these slower moving sections and shallower sections. So you're not going to get anything massive. Um, so are these sort of year old fish or fruit, yeah, year yeah. fish from last year's fry? Yes, yeah, yeah. Fry. Yes, yes, essentially, yeah. Um, but I mean, some of the fish like the bullhead and the loach will spend all their lives in here um, and they'll be a couple of years old. But again, it's just it's a smaller kind of fish. We've had a really good day, we've caught uh, quite a, a lot of different species of fish, um, lots of bullheads, uh, stone loach, one or two unusual ones like tench which must have come out of the lakes when the, when the river's been in flood. Um, yeah and it, we've got a really good set of baseline data so that we can see what happens in the future. Minnow, rod and spined loach. 